Emily Thornberry claimed Britain's food industry will struggle to export to Australia post-Brexit as its products will go off. Britain and Australia announced a free trade deal on Tuesday evening. The UK government hailed the ambitious agreement as an important step in building new trade relationships following its departure from the EU. Britain said cars, scotch whisky and confectionery would be cheaper to sell in Australia as a result of the deal, which removes tariffs and reduces red tape. On the other hand, Australia said it was a great win for Australian agriculture. Prime Minister Boris Johnson said, I think this is important economically, there's no question about that, but I think it's more important politically and symbolically. We're opening up to each other and this is the prelude to a general campaign of opening up around the world. As the deal marks a new dawn for Brexit Britain, unearthed reports reveal how Shadow International Trade Secretary, Emily Thornberry made an embarrassing gaffe when asked about the UK's future trade with Australia, at a hustings organised by the Royal United Services Institute, RUSI, during the 2017 general election campaign, Ms Thornberry said, things like our food industry, you can't export it to Australia because it will go off. She appeared to be unaware that, according to the Food and Drink Federation, Britain exported £337.7 million worth of food and drink to Australia in 2016, up 12.4% on the previous year. Focusing further on the food industry, Ms Thornberry also claimed that British food would go off if Britain left the EU Customs Union. She said, it needs to be able to move smoothly across Europe without there being points of origin checks, without us having Dover as a massive great lorry park whilst everything is checked through and so forth. So I am very concerned. I'm very concerned about the practical effects of us leaving the single market but also about us leaving the customs union. Ms Thornberry, asked to clarify her remarks about the difficulties of trading with Australia, said after the hustings, you could hardly sell breaded chicken breasts, you know. When the interviewer told her about New Zealand lamb being sold in the UK, Ms Thornberry insisted, I appreciate that.